hope you're well and thanks for joining me in my kitchen. So today I am going to go through a very easy, popular recipe. We're going to be making lamb samosas. My family loves them. They're very popular in Ramadan and also when you have some guests. I do quick and easy recipes every week, so make sure you subscribe. Let's go straight into the ingredients. So here we have one kg of lamb mince, some mint, fresh mint and fresh coriander, one cup of peas, spring onions, three medium onions chopped, one lemon, one tablespoon of ginger and garlic paste, one tablespoon of green chilies, and the spices we have here, half a teaspoon of garam masala, one teaspoon of whole cumin, salt to taste, cooking oil, one tablespoon of coriander powder, and one tablespoon of cumin powder. And also you will need some samosa leaves to fill. Okay, so in our pot, we're going to add in the lamb mint. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to break it up. So it is quite lumpy at the moment. So we're just going to break everything up. When your mint starts looking like this, so the lumps are broken, um, we're then going to add in the whole cumin. And I'm going to let this carry on cooking until the water has reduced because as you can see there's still there is a lot of water in here so i'm going to cover this and i'm going to keep an eye on that making sure that it doesn't stick i've kept the heat on medium so let me just get my lid and cover that when you have just a little bit of water left in there we're then going to add in the crushed chilies The ginger and garlic paste. Salt. Coriander and cumin powder. And then what we're going to do is just give that a mix. So we're gonna let all of this cook in there. And then we're gonna let this carry on cooking until the water has evaporated completely. Uh, we're just going to cover that again and then I'm going to check this in a couple of minutes. So let's just quickly check on the mince. Um, when it starts to stick at the bottom, you know that the mince is now ready because the water's evaporated. We can now add in peas. And we're just going to stir that in. this and also we're just going to add a little bit of oil so just about a teaspoon of oil like this and then what I'm going to do now is the fresh mint and the coriander I'm just going to chop that or you can also blitz it as well and then once it's slightly cool we're going to add that in and we're also going to add in the onions and also the spring onion and sprinkle um, the garam masala on top and squeeze some lemon. So when the mixture has cooled down, we're then going to add in the chopped mint and coriander. The onions. to add in juice of half a lemon, garam masala and the spring onions and then what we're going to do is we're just going to mix everything up and I'm going to taste that as well and if you need to add in some salt then you can add salt as well. So this mixture, once I've mixed it all up, it's ready for me to fill. So I'm just going to make some paste, which is made of flour and water. And that, and that I'm going to use 
to seal the edges of the samosas. So in most of my savory videos, like samosas, spring rolls and bread rolls, you probably see me using this paste. Now it's very quick and easy to make. Um, all you need is uh, a few tablespoons of plain flour and some water and you just mix it up into a, a, a good consistency paste. So it shouldn't be too thin or too thick. So let me just show you how we're going to make that. So we've got our plain flour here. I've got about three tablespoons and just some water. It doesn't have to be hot or cold, either will do. And I'm just going to pour that slowly. Um, we, we don't want to add it all in at once. Okay, and just a bit more. Just give it a mix. That's still very thick and lumpy. We want a smooth um, consistency. So now this is still too thick guys, so we still need a little bit more. Still a bit lumpy, so we're gonna carry on mixing that. So this paste is good. Um, is perfect to use when you're sealing your spring rolls um, and the edges of your samosas as well. So it keeps the mixture inside. And that's a perfect consistency here. Just a few more lumps that we're just going to get rid of. And there you go, that's now ready. So it should look something like this. Okay, so I've made a start and I'm just going to show how we're going to fold the samosas. So I've just kept the samosa leaves or bar in a damp cloth so they don't dry up. And then what we need to do is we just take our strip and we're just going to fold it like this and then fold it into a triangle like that so you've got a pocket and then we're not going to overfill our samosa so we just need to take just a bit a bit over so about a teaspoon and a bit press that down and then we are going to fold it like that and then again like this and then what we need to do is just get some of our flour paste and just spread that over like this. And then we're going to seal it. And there you go, like this. And I'm gonna carry on doing this for the rest of them. We're now ready to fry the samosas. The oil is now hot. Um, my kids are waiting for these. Uh, they love samosas, so I'm just going to slowly put them in. Now we're going to let them fry in the oil until they're nice and golden. So there you go guys, I hope you like my lamb samosa recipe, please do try them out. Tag me in your pictures on Instagram and do let me know what you think. I hope you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up if you did, if you want to see new recipes every week, hit the subscribe button too. Thanks for watching.